Uh, what's up guys, this is Brandon Sacrifice out here in Chicago on the uh, Melancholy Tour with Shadow and Ten, and Fury and Signs of the Swarm. My name is Liam, I play guitar in the band. And I'm Rob, I play drums. And we're going to give you a tour of our van. So usually for the tours I do most of the driving, but this time around we got our buddy Brad doing some of the driving. Um, there's nothing too crazy about the front. I mean, we have these uh, lighter ports that are usually used for charging your phone. But uh, in our case, it doesn't work, so we just charge our phones at the venue. But yeah, usually we got a co-pilot, but uh, sometimes we're not the greatest at that. We just end up falling asleep. But uh, we try to stay up and keep Brad company. Honestly, we do a lot of mid-2000s throwbacks, a lot of emo stuff, a lot of meme songs that, yeah. uh, you know, like, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da shit like that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it's... it's Free say whoever wants to put music on just kind of puts it on and everyone just chills with it. All right, so let's just run through some of the essentials that we need. Down here, uh, we've got tools because we're always breaking down, um, you know, fixing fuses or cutting things. We've got garbage bags, which are essential, obviously, because we go through a lot of garbage. We've got more garbage bags down here, some cords. Um, we have a couple pairs of these gloves when we're uh, loading in and out, especially in the winter when it gets super fucking cold. Yeah, so got some Ricolas. These are mainly for Kyle because of the vocals in the winter. It can be super harsh. Uh, envelopes for that cash money. Uh, GPS and stand that we don't use because it's very old and outdated, so we just use our iPhones. Uh, Plenty of water. <laughs> yeah. No uh, product placement here, but that's our favorite. Some stuff to make it a little less stinky because it is five guys in a van. Let's be real. Uh, that's about it. Some change, some markers, you know, stuff like that. Hi, I'm Dylan. I play bass and I do content for Brand of Sacrifice. Uh, so our van's very, uh, it's high end. It's a two door. Uh, the sliding door just stopped working on us one day. Luckily, it locked, so uh, you can't get in, can't get out. Uh, it's really high end and really awesome for us. Uh, it does not make things complicated on the road at all, so that's sweet. Um, and yeah, this is basically the second section. This is usually where I reside from not co pilot with Kyle or uh, with Brad, sorry. Um, yeah, it's really not much going on. We got the Fago here. Obviously, you know, we're trying to get on the Gather with the Juggalos uh, festival this year, you know, trying to do it. Uh, that's pretty much it. We have just the trash bin over here just because we try to, you know, not have everything everywhere so we're not a mess, but uh, it doesn't work, that, uh, it work out that well, you know. Um, that's pretty much the, uh, the, the seat right here. So this is our sleeping area. Our buddy Mike, who used to play in a band called Lungless, helped us build this thing. Uh, it's built with some of the finest memory foam you can find in Walmart. It's totally not folded in half and held by duct tape, but it's totally sweet. There's plenty of room up there. Got maybe a There's couple inches. There's not plenty of room up there. <laughs> and, uh, but where you really want to be is at the bottom bunk. We got this queen size mattress. Stolen from Kyle's living room. So it works out Continue. pretty nicely. Yeah. Uh, not too stinky here, but it's a little claustrophobic at times, especially because you can't open these back doors once you're inside. Yeah, they only open from the outside because why would they work properly? Yeah, this is a 2021 Chevy Express coupe model, so we're staying true to that. So generally, there is no set in stone designated spots, but the way it's been is that Rob will be up top here, Dylan will be up here after he finishes his co-pilot shift usually. Um, I'm usually down here in the corner. And then Brad, our driver, is usually down there after he's done driving. And Kyle generally takes the bench. He's up early a lot, so basically if you're on the bench, you don't have to crawl over anyone. Because like we said, these doors don't open from the inside. So pretty much if you're back here, you're stuck back here. Unless someone opens the back door. Um, it is a bit messy, but I mean, we all have a sleeping bag and, and a pillow and blankets. So you can imagine how much cluster there is back here. Uh, so this is our trailer. It's just a generic 5x8 trailer. Uh, we got it, again, from our friend Mike from the band Lungless. He decorated nicely with all these stickers. Um, the way it works, pretty much we just load up, get to the show, sorry, and uh, unload everything, all the suitcases, all that nonsense. Um, I'll generally pull everything out while the guys run it in, and then afterwards I do restock of merch immediately, and then throw everything back in. Um, and then at the end of the night, we all just kind of do one round of loading everything out, and then I start tetrising while the guys continue to load everything out. And if it's a sketch area, then obviously someone stays with me. 
All right, well, I just want to say uh, thank you for having us on uh, our digital bus tour. Uh, just shout out to uh, Uniquely to Records for being uh, great to us. Uh, D Daniel Defonce for uh, our booking agent. He's been treating us really well. Um, obviously, Brad, who's on tour with us, he's been like an absolute great help. Uh, he worked for Banger TV, so make sure to check that out. Um, yeah, uh, we got a new album coming out in uh, 2020. That's all I can say. We're working on it right now. Uh, hope you guys can still uh, stream God Hand and uh, The Interstice. And uh, we're going to be on tour with Shadow of Intent for a few more weeks. Thanks, guys.